All right, today is the day, and we have a little bit of a milestone today in the composite side of this thing. Still always working on the tub. That's going to take quite a long process, but today we're going to pull off the rear clamshell. Or pull off, we're going to pull it out of the mold, I should say. I said that rear clamshell, the engine cover is coming out of the mold. We've added a few things to it, some auxiliary items to uh, stiffen it up and protection for some of the components in the engine compartment. But anyway, now that it's out of the mold, as you're going to see in just a moment, we're going to be able to um, drill it for the hinges so that we can mount it to that tub and be able to uh, see how things fit under there, make sure we have complete clearances on all of our components. Anyway, let's go take a look at that. Now, before we pull this thing out of the mold, we're going to add some wheel well or some inserts to create a wheel well within the clamshell. And to make that main form of that, we're just going to lay up some flat panels. So I have a piece of glass here that's got some releasing agent on it. I'm going to lay down about four layers of fiberglass. By now, if you've been watching these videos, you're kind of getting the routine of this kind of thing. So I'll just take you through this real quickly. Put some fiberglass down, saturate it. Get the resin in there, maybe to where it's a little bit rich, and then go back with the squeegee, take out the excess resin so that we're just using the, the minimum amount of resin. That's where the weight comes from is the resin itself. So as long as we can keep that ratio good, we'll keep it as lightweight as possible. But anyway, you're going to build a couple of these flat panels, one for each side. Here they are finished. Now, since I did this on this glass, they release nice and easily since it's so flat and perfect. So pop those panels off. Now I need to go back to the clamshell and take a pattern because there's a little bit of a curve underneath that wheel well that we want to butt these panels up against. So these two panels, I'm going to just cut them to the same size just so I get them symmetrical. Then I'm going to take my pattern and cut that slight arch onto the one side. Now these panels came out to be just about an eighth of an inch thick, which is not so much I had to get the abrasive cutter out, but my big tin snips were able to uh, cut through it. So just gonna trim this thing out with the tin snips, the three sides, and then our arched side, and we will go start fitting this to the clamshell. Now I formed these panels and then before they were actually cured completely, I put them on a surface where they could bend a little bit, let them cure without a slight bend, but not quite enough what we need. So stuck some clamps on the ends, put some string to each of the clamps, get a pull those string tight until I get the curve, the arch that I want. Throw a little ruler scale on there, make sure the other side is the same. And then I'm going to prop these things up with a little piece of foam you see there in the foreground. That's been a kind of pre-cut to shape of that form. And we will uh, slip that under the outside edge to hold it in position. But before we can start bonding those into place, I need to do some other things here to prep this thing. I bonded a piece of Nomex honeycomb core in here, and I'm just going to bevel the edges a little bit on that. And also need to go ahead and uh, scuff up the whole surface again so that we get a good bond and we're going to lay some new glass cloth and vacuum it up, clean things up. And once we have this all clean, ready to go, time to put our wheel wells back into position and bond that Nomex into place with its top coat. Now you might have seen this in another video before, I just kind of created my own little prepreg, laid up four layers of fiberglass on a polyethylene sheet, actually a part of an old trash bag. That way I can squeegee it nice and flat on the workbench, then bring it over here, lay it on top of the Nomex, smooth it out, get all the air bubbles out best we can. And you'll see that top layer also has a little bit of dry cloth that we're going to come back in and uh, finish saturating it. That cloth laps over and helps add a greater bond to the far surfaces away from the Nomex. And once we get that new cloth saturated, we're going to come back with a squeegee once again. Go back and uh, clean up excess resin, push out any air bubbles. And once that Nomex is in place, it's time to uh, go back and uh, get our wheel wheel panels ready to start that bonding in that process. 
Now there's still just a little bit of light, the fiberglass layers under that wheel well that we're gonna add. So I'm gonna throw in four more layers of uh, glass cloth on that side. I will spare you the agony of watching me put layer after layer. So you just get the idea here. This is one of the four layers, but there's gonna be four layers in here. Squeegee them up. And we are ready to uh, bring back that wheel well, that flat panel that we've created and start bonding it in place. Little polyethylene cap off of some spray cans. I'm gonna put underneath it to help hold that thing so it doesn't fall over. It's just kind of precariously all sitting here while I do all this, but that's the whole purpose of this is to get a few layers in to bond these things in place so that I can actually do a little more rugged work on them the next day after the cure is done. So just a matter of uh, cutting some smaller pieces of fiberglass Working with shorter pieces, that way I can make that bend around the curve of the arch of that wheel well a little bit easier, not having to work with a longer piece of cloth. Anyway, about three sections to make it around this bend, and I'm going to go ahead and put two layers of cloth on there. They will make a nice, uh, good, strong bond that I won't have to worry about. That thing coming loose at all while I do the main laminations later on. Now also there's that uh, foam piece that we put in the front. We're going to lay some cloth across the flat panel, down that foam, and then onto the main part of the clamshell. It's just the same process again. Some short pieces of cloth that lap over the one, down across the foam onto the clamshell. The same thing here, I'll put about uh, just two layers of glass cloth I said, this is all just to bond this thing in place. So between that Nomex honeycomb, these wheel wells, and then a few other things that we'll add to add some strengthening to this thing. This thing should be plenty strong to take any of the aerodynamic forces. Of course, there's certainly no other uh, loads on this besides aerodynamic. That's going to be the main thing of source. Finish up these last little uh, bits of fiberglass. This thing is ready to delaminate the next day. Delaminate, I guess I should say demold the next day. Take out the clamps. Pull those uh, cups out or hold things. Start trying to pry this thing loose. It'll release them pretty good everywhere except for right around that, uh, what'll be the window, rear window access. Come over here and ah, I got a sliver. Always a danger when you got this loose fibers with resin in them. Throw some gloves on when I'm working out those uh, ragged edges before this thing's trimmed. Spin it around to the tub. And I can try to fit this thing together. Like I said, there are a few interference problems, but that's what this little trial fits all about. We'll get it close to closing up there. And then uh, my main interference was uh, right under this wheel well, the exhaust system comes in contact with that new flat panel over there. So I'm just climb under, take a Sharpie, mark where I need to trim it. Don't want to trim too much, just the minimum I can. So once it's in position, I can uh, see where I can get that trim without taking too much. So here's that clearance problem. I say it comes right down the top of that. Otherwise, over the engine, I got a good four and a half, five inches. The only other real clearance problem I have is round to the air duct on the side, the intercooler, that one strut is hitting that wheel wheel flat panel as well. So once I got those marked, we're going to pull this thing off, put it back into the mold. Anyway, right now, probably just under 20 pounds. In the end, maybe up another eight pounds, maybe 10, but that's it. All right, there you go, the rear clamshell, that engine cover is out of the mold here. But the next thing, of course, is now gonna free up a little space as I can move that mold out of here and put up the front clamshell, the bonnet, or the front cover. And then we'll have what's looking like a real car again. Anyway, thanks for stopping by today. Come back and see us again.